What's up outdoorsman? Greg here and today I'm going over my one, two, three, four, five favorite pieces of gear. So me and Abby were messing around in the studio. That's right, I said studio. This is my new studio we were working on and trying to figure out how to make it look pretty cool. Hopefully it looks pretty cool and it will be easier for me to record videos in a controlled environment. I'm liking the studio so far. And like I said, we're going to go over my top five favorite pieces of gear from this past hunting season. And number five is my rubber boots. Now these are the lightest rubber boots I could find anywhere. I searched and searched and searched. These are a very durable yet ultra light Irish setter Rupmaster rubber boot. I was hunting in 70s and 80s even in January and these boots kept my feet dry from the swamp water uh, and they kept me from sweating a whole lot. Number four is my DIY accessory strap that I made. I sewed this thing up earlier in the season and I used it all year long and it worked fantastically well. I love it. It's got spaces for me to hold all the different stuff that I want to put on the tree I can wrap it around pretty much any tree. It's simple, I can install it in three seconds. There's no noisy buckles or clips or adjustment straps. You just loop it around, pull it tight, and you're set, you're ready to go. I can put it on any tree that I like. I love this accessory strap, and that is why it is my number four favorite piece of gear from this past hunting season. Number three is my thermocell. I could not have hunted in the Georgia swamps without the thermocell. Like I said, it is like 80 degrees for most of the season, and these mosquitoes are at least this big. If you were here for Saddle Palooza, you know that we have some gigantic mosquitoes down in the coastal Georgia swamps. Without the thermocell, it just wouldn't have happened. So it's not a real sexy pick, but the thermocell made it happen. That is why it's number three. Number two is my Hobie Pro Angler kayak. This kayak allowed me to get pretty much anywhere I wanted to hunt. It allowed me to get to places no one else was going. I was finding unpressured deer and pigs all season long, and it was just a fun way to hunt, not to mention the fact that I didn't have to get super sweaty by slogging through miles of swamp to get back to places where other hunters weren't going. I could just launch the boat, go there quietly, quickly, silently, it, it was great. I absolutely loved hunting from my kayak this season and I will continue to do it in the future. That is why it is my number two pick. And drum roll, you can probably all guess what my number one piece of gear is, but I'm gonna go ahead and lay it on you. It is my saddle hunting setup. And I use a DIY setup and it was fantastic this year. Hunting from a tree saddle is my absolute favorite way to hunt. It's ultra light, it's ultra mobile, it's super cheap, it's, you only have to buy one of them and you can hunt any tree in the world. It's pretty much the best way to hunt. And I've got tons of content about tree saddle hunting uh, on my channel. You can check out my channel and you'll find everything you need to know about saddle hunting. But it is easily my number one favorite piece of gear from this past hunting season. But we're not gonna stop there. I'm going to ask five other YouTubers to do the same video so I can learn from them and you guys can learn from them. So I'm gonna ask uh, Flingin' Arrows from SaddleHunter.com to do a review. I'm gonna ask uh, Grant Lemon, Appalachia on the Trail, to do a video. I'm going to ask Bobby Boswell, another great saddle hunter, to do a video on his top five favorite pieces of gear. I'm also going to ask the DIY Sportsman to do one. Garrett, if you could give us your five favorite pieces of gear, that would be awesome. And then finally, I'm going to ask Catman Outdoors to do a review on his five favorite pieces of gear. I met these guys, all of them, at Saddle Palooza, and they are all super great guys, super smart, and they're great hunters. So I know that we will all benefit if they will let me know about the same five pieces of gear that they use so much. That's it for me. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Click around my channel and, and check out some of the hunting and fishing videos and some of the other gear stuff that I have on the channel. Hey, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. That would help me a lot. And don't forget to get outdoors. And they're pretty good. Now flip those lights on.
Barbell.